Here it is. Learn to be a storyteller. Abraham Lincoln became a great man telling stories. Will Rogers became a great man telling stories. Mark Twain became a great man telling stories. And Jesus, the greatest storyteller of all. And, but you know what you've got to be learning? Never tell a story without a point. Make a point, but tell a story. Because you see, if you don't make a point to tell a story, what's the use of telling a story? So you tell a story to make a point, make a point and tell a story. Now, in order to make this point, let me tell you a story. This kid couldn't get a job anywhere. It was tough. The, summit, the jobs were all gone, and he needed some money. So he went down. He, they saw the one at the man at the zoo. So he rushed down to the zoo as fast as he could. He said, I'll take the job. He said, no, kid. You don't. He said, I'll take it. I'll do anything. He said, all right. We'll give you a chance. Our gorilla died. We don't have any money to buy a new gorilla. What is a zoo without a gorilla? So we had a gorilla skin. We're looking for some kid to put on this gorilla suit and leap around in the cage and act like a gorilla till we can get money to buy a real gorilla because what is a zoo without a gorilla? So I said, I'll try it. So he put on the gorilla head, started leaping around the cage, acting like a gorilla. He was throwing them, they were throwing them peanuts, bananas. He thought, this is a wonderful job. They're paying me. I better work at it so when they get enough money to buy a real gorilla, they'll keep me because I'm better than a real gorilla. So he would go in early in the morning and get up, up, the, up at the trapeze and swing like a real gorilla. Well, the kids loved this, and they would cheer. And the harder they would cheer, the harder he would swing. And the harder he would swing, the harder they would cheer. And one day he got to swing it so hard, so high, he swung up so high, the rope broke, and he flew out over the top of the cage and landed in the lion pit. <laughs> Oh, he jumped up. He saw all these lions charging at him. He started running holler, help, help, save me. And this one lion gets close enough and says, you better shut up or we're all going to get fired. <laughs> now, wait. What?